Hello and welcome to Techni Technically Explained. In this video, we are going to do some numerical problems on triple five timer. Now, in the previous video, we discussed that for the duty cycle greater than fifty percent, the duty cycle is given by this formula, which is R one plus R two divided by R one plus two R two multiplied by hundred. Sometimes these resistors are also called as R R A and R B. Find this R one resistor is called as R R A. This R two resistor is called as R B. In some literature, but these are one and the same thing. So for duty cycle greater than fifty percent, we have this formula, and usually this happens when R two is greater than R one, or we can say that when R B is greater than R A. Fine. Some books mention the R two as R B and R A as R one. Okay. So this is for the greater than fifty percent duty cycle. For less than or equal to fifty percent duty cycle. What you need to do is to find the on time or high time and off time or low time separately, and then what you are going to do is that add both the, those time. After adding those time, you can find the duty cycle using this formula. In that case, the T on or T high time will be zero point six nine three multiply by R one multiply by C, because in that case. We are going to connect a diode across the resistor R2. That is, a diode is connected in parallel to the resistor R2. Uh, when the duty cycle is greater than 50 percent, the charging takes place to the resistors R1 and R2. But now, when the duty cycle is less than 50 percent, the charging is going to take place only to the resistor R1 because a diode will be connected across R2. So we are going to have T on time as this and T of time as this, which is the same for both the cases for less than fifty percent and the and the greater than fifty percent duty cycle case. So once we find the T on time, the T of time, we are going to add these two together, and this will give us the total time. Now once the total time is on, we can find the duty cycle using this formula. So now uh, we have only change in this portion, this T on portion for the. Uh, duty cycle greater than 50% and the less than 50% because when the duty cycle is greater than 50% we have r1 plus r2 over here but for the less than 50% we only have r1 over here fine so now let us do some numerical problems numerical problem number 1 and it states that find the frequency and duty cycle for triple five timer multi vibrator for C is equal to 0.1 microfarad, R1 is equal to 2 kilo ohm, and R2 is equal to 100 kilo ohm. Now I can use the formula of duty cycle for greater than 50%. Why? Because R2 is greater than R1. Usually, when R2 is greater than 1, we have greater than 50% duty cycle. So we need to find the frequency and we need to find the duty cycle. First of all, the formula for frequency is given as 1.44. Divided by R1 plus 2R2 into C. So this is the formula for the frequency. Fine. We have C given, R1 and R2 given. What we need to do is only put values. So we have 1.44 divided by R1 is 2 kilo ohm. And then we have 2R2, which means 2 into 100 kilo ohm. R2 is your 100 kilo ohm. So 2 into 100 is 200, so we are going to have 200k. And that will be multiplied by 0 0.1 microfarad is 10 raised to power minus 6. Fine. So when you solve this, you are going to get 712.8 hertz, which is approximately 713 hertz. So we have found out the frequency of the triple five timer, which is 713 hertz. We have found out the frequency. Next thing is to find the duty cycle. Again, because R2 is greater than R1, so duty cycle uh, is greater than 50%. And then duty cycle is given by the formula R1 plus R2 divided by R1 plus 2R2. Fine. And if I convert this, if I have this in percentage, I have to multiply by 100. But if I want to uh, find in points, I'm going to write only this thing. But if I want to find in percentage, I'm going to multiply by 100. So let us find it in percentage. So now let us put the values. R1 is your 2 kilo ohm, R2 is your 100 kilo ohm. 
and then we have 2k plus 2 into 100 which is 200k so this is 102 divided by 202 multiply by 100 of course so this comes out to be 50.50 percent .50%. So your duty cycle has also been find out which is 50.50 percent .50%. we have a multiply by 100 over here because we are finding this in percent so we have found out the frequency and we have found out the duty cycle let us move to the problem number two problem number two states that design a stable multi wire letter with output frequency of 800 hertz and 60 percent duty cycle again the duty cycle is uh, greater than 50 percent so we can use the formula of the duty cycle duty cycle is equal to r1 plus r2 divided by r1 plus 2r2 multiply by 100 fine so this is the formula of duty cycle and if i want to write this in point if i want to write this in point then no need to put the 100 what i'm going to do is that i'm going to write this in point and i won't put the 100 at the end so this is 0 0.6 r1 plus r2 divided by r1 plus 2r2 fine which implies multiply this denominator term with 0.6 so we are going to have r1 plus r2 is equal to 0.6 r1 and 2 multiplied by 0.6 is 1.2 so this is 1.2 r2 fine okay let us rearrange this if i shift 0 0.6 to the this this side this will be r1 minus 0 0.6 r1 so this is r1 minus 0 0.6 r1 fine and if i shift this r2 to this side this will be 1.2 r2 minus r2 so we have 0 0.4 R1. This is R1. So we have. Let me write it again so you do not get confused. We have 0 0.5 R1 is equal to 0 0.2 R2, which implies that R2 is equal to 2 R1. Fine. So this is one of our results. Now frequency is also given which is 800 hertz and we know that the frequency of this s stable multi vibrator is 1.44 divided by r1 plus 2r2 into 100 hertz into c sorry so into c fine now f is 800 hertz r1 plus r2 again r2 is equal to 2r1 so i'm going to put it over here also we are given with c that c is equal to 0 0.1 microfarad so what i am going to do is that i am going to say that 800 because frequency is given which is 800 800 is equal to 1.44 1 r1 plus now in place of this r2 i am going to place 2 r1 this will be 2 into 2 r1 this will be 4 r1 4 r1 into c which is 0 0.1 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 6 fine so we have 1.44 divided by 5r1 into 0 0.1 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 6 which implies that r1 is equal to okay i'm going to shift this 800 to here and r1 there so this will be 1.44 into 5 multiply by 800 multiply by 0 0.1 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 6 fine and when we solve this we are going to get r1 is equal to 3.6 kilo ohm. so we have found out the r1 basically when it tells you to design a triple five timer you need to find r1 r2 and c c is already given so r1 and r2 wasn't given so we have found out the r1 and r2 is equal to 2 r1 so r so r2 will be equal to 7.2 kilo ohm. So we have found out what was required we have found the r1 we have found the r2 next is the problem number three which is to design a triple five a stable multi -op operator to operate at five kilohertz with a duty cycle of 40 percent now the duty cycle is less than 50 percent so i cannot use that formula but we are given with frequency that frequency is five kilohertz 
it means that the total time that is denoted by t that will be 1 by f that is 1 by 5 kilohertz or 1 by 5000 and this comes out to be 0 0.2 millisecond so we have found out the total time which was 0 0.2 millisecond now the duty cycle is also given in terms of percentage and in points this 40 percent is usually 0 0.4 so now this we, know, we also know that duty cycle is basically equal to t on divided by total time which is denoted by t and this is your total time fine so we have 0 0.4 is equal to t on divided by t which implies that t on equal to 0 0.4 multiplied by t which is the total time so t on is 0 0.4 multiplied by 0.2 millisecond which comes out to be 0 0.08 millisecond fine so we have found out the t on what we need to do is that we need to find the resistors but first we need to find the t on and t off then we can find the resistor now once the t on is on we can find the t off because total time is equal to t on plus t off which implies that t off equal to total time minus the t on and total time is 0 0.2 millisecond t on is find out to be 0 0.08 millisecond and this comes out to be 0. 1 2 milliseconds so we have found out the t of as well now from t of i can find the r2 and from the t1 i can find the r1 sorry for this so, okay now t on we know that t on is equal to 0 0.693 multiply by r1 multiply by c T is given C is 0 0.1 microfarad and we need to find the R1. T on is also given we have found out the T on which was 0 0.08 millisecond fine. So this T on is 0 0.08 millisecond. This is your okay we need to find the R1. So this T on is your 0 0.08 millisecond which is 10 raised to power minus 3 this is 0 0.693 multiply by r1 multiply by 0 0.1 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 6 so find r1 for, from here so r1 is equal to 0 0.08 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 3 divided by 0 0.693 multiply by 0 0.1 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 6 basically we are finding r1 from here so from here r1 will be equal to what r1 will be equal to t on divided by 0.6931 we have put in those values over here and when we solve this we are going to get 1.154 kilo ohm this is your r1 and then we need to find the r2 and r2 can be found from the t of because the t of time is equal to 0.693 multiply by r2 multiply by c which implies that r2 is equal to t of divided by 0 0.693 multiply by c we have also found out the t of that was 0 0.1 millisecond so that is 0 0.1 millisecond and the capacitance is given which is 0 0.1 millisecond when we solve this we get r2 which is 1.131 long so we have found out the r1 and r2 so we have done our part that is we have designed a triple five timer to operate at five kilohertz and the duty cycle of 40 percent thank you